computers take an input process the input and produce a output one of the most common ways or most frequent ways to read input from the keyboard or any input device in C programming is by the use of a scanf function. The scanf function model declaration or the prototype declaration is in the header file called as stdio.h. So let me show you a simple example of how we can use the scanf. So I have declared a variable a of the type integer. It indicates that a can reside in any memory location given by the operating system at that point of execution. So let us say this is A and it exists at address 1004. So A has two things. The address 1004 is referred to by the name A. I am asking the user to enter an integer number. When I say int, A is not going to contain any fractions. So what I am doing is, I am asking the user to enter an integer number. He or she is entering 55. So let us say the value contained in A is 55. Then I am saying print A is equal to percentage D A. I am printing A is 55. So there are a number of things which need to be explained in this particular program. So let's try to create a checklist of those things and let me try to explain what all is happening in this scanf and printf. So the first thing you will have noticed is when I am trying to read something from the keyboard or from the input device, I am having scanf, something within double quotes and then I am having address of A. So what it's trying to tell scanf is, scanf is trying to tell read a value into the memory location where A stays and percentage D is nothing but the format string or the control string. Sorry, the double quotes, anything between double quote is the control string or the format string. Percentage D simply is the specification or the control specification which says that A should be of the type integer type of data. So anything between double quote is the format string. Percentage D in technical terms is known as the conversion specifier. And address of A indicates that wherever A resides or wherever is the location of A, store whatever value is entered from the keyboard into the value referred by A. Be sure you do not keep any spaces in after the double quote and before the percentage. Don't keep percentage space and D or D percentage. So avoid spaces. Now the next thing. This address in C is known as the address operator or technically known as the reference operator because it refers to the address of A. Now you have to understand what you mean by this format specifiers. So one percentage D I have so I have A where when I am similarly when I am printing I have one percentage D I have one A. So if I had two percentages D then I would have had probably address of A comma address of B. So the number and type of this should match this. Let me try to make it clear what I mean by that. Suppose I am reading an integer and I am reading a real number. So the first percentage D indicates that A is a integer. The percentage F indicates that B is a real or floating point number. You cannot say something like this percentage D, percentage D, percentage F and have only one memory location. Since you have indicated three percentages, you need to have three memory locations to read data into. So the number and the type. So you cannot say percentage F and have A here. You cannot have percentage D and have B here because B is a real type of number. So it is the responsibility of the programmer to have the exact number and type of format specifier. C will not give you an error if you do something like this. It is your job to take care of it. Forgetting the address here or here is going to lead to unexpected behavior or your program is going to crash. It is the programmer's responsibility to deal with it. C gives you a lot of freedom and it is your responsibility to use that freedom responsibly. It assumes you know what you're doing, which is not the case with when we're learning programming. Now, suppose when I'm using scanf, suppose I 
when this data 50 was being entered here 55 was being entered here I can hit as many spaces tabs new line all those characters will be ignored only when I enter a number that value will go into 55 so I hope you have understood the gist of scanf anything within the double quote is known as the format or the control string percentage d is the conversion specifier to indicate the data type of a here if you see percentage d indicates when i am printing i am printing a which happens to be an integer percentage f would have indicated that it would have been a real or floating point number so i hope this clarifies your understanding of how we use or how we read data into the computer's memory using scanf in c programming language